What's up YouTube? This is G from Hotel Yvel and today we are doing a review of the Ibis Bangkok Riverside. The hotel does have the temperature check and they also have sanitizing station although I was not asked to do any of that when I came in to check in. The check in was pretty okay, it was fast. The receptionist could have been a lot friendlier. She was pretty much just going through the motions. So the Ibis offers you a selection of welcome drinks and it's uh, because of this little guy over here which is the All Accor membership. So Silver gets me an option of uh, soft drinks, coffee, tea and some drinking water. Can I have a Coke Light please? Yes, yes. Thank you. Just some ice? Put some ice. Okay. So I'm really happy about this because just last week I was reviewing the Grand Hyatt Era one and no welcome drink. Which is very funny for a five star hotel. Yet here I am at an economy hotel and we get welcome drinks. Cheers. Let's have a look at the pool area. This is the main pool. I'm guessing it's about 30 or 35 meters long. 1.2 meters on this end. There's also a decent sized kiddies pool over here. They have a salah for massages too, but apparently it's not open today. So now I am on the riverbank. There's some boat action going on here, but it's still pretty quiet and peaceful. They have some pretty nice seating out here. And there's more tables over there. This is the outside section of the restaurant, which is right next to the river and also by the swimming pool. I ordered a Angus beef burger, which cost me 320 baht. Bacon on here, I can see some cheese, there's a nice beef patty and some potato wedges. Pretty good, pretty hot today. And the waiter just came and turned on this nice big fan for me without me even asking for it. The restaurant is right over here. There's a couple of men sitting here on the riverbank fishing. Oi! Oi! Any, any platuk na kap? But that burger was pretty cool. I was full after the potato wedges already. I think it's time for a swim. The sun has already left the pool area, but that's fine. I'm gonna go and change and come back and make use of this pool. It's hot. Okay, so not yet. Apparently, you're supposed to get a pool towel from reception. It's nice, really nice, but I think it's too much chlorine in the water. I enjoyed that, but that's enough for now. I want to go walk around the area and show you what else there is in this vicinity. So the main road outside the hotel is quite busy. Fair enough, it is peak hour. But honestly, you don't hear any of this traffic noise at the hotel. So what is there to do in the area? Well, the hotel is about 500 meters down this road over here and here right behind me on the corner of the main road is a 7-Eleven if you want to do some shopping. Actually, time for a beer. About 900 meters down the road to the main road and then turn right, you'll get to this intersection over here. And on this corner is a little shopping center called Senafest where you will find an expat supermarket with a lot of imported goods. There's a Starbucks, a KFC. There's also a wine connection restaurant which I would really recommend if you're looking for some nice western homely food then that is the place to go. I don't know how So let's do a quick tour of room 415. There is a full length mirror. This over here should be a queen size bed, although it does look more like a king size. Nice. Flat screen TV. Hopefully we have a bar fridge. Yes, we do. 
Oh great, I like it when they add some cold water in the fridge at least. This over here is the wardrobe. Let's see what we have. Coat hangers and torch. There's some extra pillows. Just one. Yeah, one extra pillow. And oh hey, that's nice. I was not expecting to find a safe in this room. There's a little bench for sitting and your luggage, I suppose. Tea and coffee facilities and a desk where you can work. This is the view. Apparently this is an upgrade to a river view room. So I paid 1048 baht for this room per night. That is excluding breakfast, but it does include the service charge and that. So far I'm pretty happy. The room is clean, the hotel seems clean. Staff are pretty nice and friendly. And I don't mind this view, that's pretty cool too. Oh hey, look what I just noticed. There's some space under the bed so you can stow away your luggage. I brought along my own extension cord because these rooms often don't have enough power sockets for me to charge all of my devices. However, this one's not too bad. I see there are two power sockets right over there. There's another one right here next to the television. I do wish that they had power sockets right next to the bed though. That would have been really convenient. Let's go have a look at the bathroom. Right, so you have your toilet, basin, there are plenty of towels, mirror, there's a shower. I can leave the air conditioner and all of my devices charging while I'm out because they gave me two key cards without me even having to ask for it. So I decided to come for another swim. I had to hurry though because the pool closes at 7 p.m. I showed you how busy the road was out front. Well, I'm in my room now and it's dead quiet. You can't hear a single sound coming from the traffic. But I'm gonna head back that way now because I'm hungry and I wanna go see what's out there. So let's go have a look. So this restaurant here behind me is called Indian Food and of course they sell Indian food. And this is actually one of my favorite Bangkok restaurants. I'm not just saying so because I'm here in the area. I actually order Indian food from here every Tuesday. Uh, this is the reason why I come to Indian food. Doesn't that look good? And if it is something sweet that you are after, then I would suggest one of these two places. There are two cake shops right next to the Indian food restaurant. And all of this is just a two minute walk away from the Ibis Riverside. So that was a good meal. My tummy is full and it's time to relax. Maybe I'm just tired, but this bed is feeling really comfortable. This is the room service menu. So let's have a look and see what they have. So they seem to have pretty much the same options as they do downstairs in the restaurant. No room service available. Please kindly pick up your order at the restaurant. So it's 10.30 p.m. and I'm pretty much done filming for the day. But before I go, I want to give you my general impressions of the hotel so far. The hotel is clean. My room is clean, which I always appreciate. The bed is very comfortable, but they do say that the proof is in the pudding. So it's time to test out this bed for sure. Good night. So that was a really good sleep. I've got no complaints about this bed over here. Good morning. Can I have your room number please? 415. Thank you. She gave me a glove to use. So something else I've noticed here is that they don't give you a bag or an envelope to put your mask in. So you gotta stick this in your pocket. Upon entering the breakfast room, they give you the instructions and they give you this where you order from. So on here, we have a selection of eggs, uh, fried, boiled, scrambled and omelette. And this is served with sausage, ham, tomato, potatoes, mushroom and baked bean. And you just stick off what you want. And of course, you can order this again and again as many times as you want, as you do at a regular buffet. There's also Asian breakfast. Uh, there's pork congee, chicken congee, siu pork, siu chicken, pat karpao pork, pat karpao chicken, and you have options for chili or no chili. So they have the all important coffee, two juices and water and milk, bread, croissants and danishes, and a toaster, fruit. Cereal, pre-packed, and some vegetables and salads, and cheese, but processed cheese. Cappuccino is pretty good. So they just brought my food, and 
it is wrapped. I haven't seen that at any other hotel yet. In fact, everything is wrapped, except for the sauces. Oh, that's wrapped too, you just can't see it. Everything is wrapped. So, breakfast is pretty good. My omelet is a bit watery or semi-raw, but apart from that, everything else is really good. So, for interest sake, there's also a family room, which is apparently 10 square meters bigger than the standard room which I am in. Game console. The bathroom is still exactly the same size and layout as the standard rooms. This hotel is definitely a very good option if you want to enjoy a bit of a resort feel, riverside, in the heart of Bangkok and on a budget. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and click the bell button so that you'll be notified of my next hotel review. Also, don't forget to like this video and please drop me a comment. I would like to know from you what do you like about this video, what don't you like, what would you like to see more of and also please tell me what's important to you when you stay in any hotel.